That would be the clip. I'm gonna put that in the cold open, actually. What? <laughs> He'd be like, oh, fuck, because the camera was on that. Oh. I think it's just it's just on, a, the, the light's just on a box on a chair. Right. It's about as fragile as I could have made it without building a house of cards, <laughs> trying to rest a fucking lamp on it. Hey there, hi there, hello there, and welcome back to the 25 Drinks of Christmas on Mike's Hard Reviews. My name is Mike, I'm a former bartender from the Kalamazoo, Michigan area, and today we are kind of stepping away from our, our sort of Christmas movie inspired stuff for a bit to do something a bit more, uh, more, I guess, classically styled. This is a drink called the uh, Sugar Plums. I don't know where this mythos comes from. Do you have any idea where this like Sugar Plum thing comes from? No. Like Sugar Plum fairies and... All this stuff. What's the line from the the, the the rhyme from that one nursery story? It's like images of sugar plums dancing in their heads. Like what the fuck is a sugar plum? I actually don't know what a sugar plum is. And it's just like this weird, like archaic old school thing that never made it into modern culture. The only thing I'm seeing is stuff that's related to Oh, really? We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. <laughs> anyway, this is a, a drink that takes that flavor of like plum and combines it with botanicals and herbs and makes something absolutely delicious. Let's begin. <laughs> to start off, we actually have to do some glass prep here. Um, I have a lemon here on a cutting board behind these bottles. Um, you'll notice that we're going to be using gin as our base spirit. We've got a special form of simple syrup here and then this is Ginepi, which is a French botanical liqueur, similar to uh, green chartreuse. This is our total alternative for that. Honestly, I think it might work better in this case because it doesn't add any coloring or anything to it. And it has the same botanical impact actually, just a little bit less complex. Anyway, we have to do the glass. So I'm gonna cut this lemon here and we're gonna take this, this goes into a sort of a coupe style glass. I've got these nice like sort of flat kind of wide uh, coops. I'm gonna take this and I'm just going to rim it with some of this lemon juice. And honestly, the trick with this that I've learned over the years <clears throat> is to never, never like take like a wedge of lemon or lime and put it around the lip on both sides, like inside and outside of the glass. All that does is add extra sugar to the drink, which will end up sitting at the bottom and throwing off the, the flavor towards the end of the, the cocktail. Take that and just roll that in the sugar to get a nice frosted look like that set that to the side it's out of out of sight out of mind and continue on with this shaken cocktail i'm actually going to start off with this bottle right here this is a special simple syrup this is a prune juice and a rosemary simple syrup so uh two cups of sugar and then one cup of uh it was like the sun sweet prune juice if you don't know Prunes are just dried plums. And when you add the sort of um, sugar content back to it, they taste basically like plums, but a little bit more sort of dry. They're less like hyper sweet. I'm actually allergic to them, but not this. This also has uh, rosemary in it. So I basically took one cup of uh, prune juice, two cups of sugar, and then steeped three rosemary sprigs in it. Just letting them sit until I got that rosemary impact into the syrup and then pulled them out so it didn't overpower the rest of the flavors. This stuff is delicious. I cannot stress to you enough how impressed I am with this recipe, because you've got to try this at home, it's awesome. Um, what we're basically making is an enhanced gin sour. So we need an ounce of this simple syrup. It is thicker than a regular double syrup, I've noticed, um, probably because there is a good amount of sugar just already in the prune juice. Just keep that in mind that it's gonna handle a little bit differently than other simple syrups you might be used to using. Next up, we need two ounces of gin. I'm gonna use Gordon's here today. I would uh, I would advise using something a bit more junipery. Gordon's is a fine gin. It actually tastes pretty good, especially for being a relatively affordable gin. But it's not super like juniper botanical heavy. And I think that actually helps. You want that kind of bold, traditional London dry gin flavor. Next up, we're gonna do uh, an ounce of lemon juice. It's gonna... Impress. One of those things you get used to over time. And then last but not least, we're gonna do half an ounce of this uh, Ginepi. Technically a less complex um, green chartreuse. I'm, I stand by that statement, less complex, because it does contain fewer botanicals, but it has a really, really similar flavor note with less like black peppercorn. We're gonna do half an ounce of that. So now we're gonna put some ice in here. Whenever I shake cocktails, I do uh, one large cube of ice cracked and then another, uh, another cube uh, whole to sort of give it both dilution and agitation. If I could only find the spoon I use to crack my ice cubes. This will work. Improvise, adapt, overcome. 
cap this up and give it a good shake for about 10 to 15 seconds. We're good. <laughs> Gonna pull our glass back up here and double strain that through a cocktail strainer. And there you have it. That is a sugar plum. Give it a sip here. Mm, oh my goodness, that is so good. Every single time I make this, I made this drink once to test the balance of it beforehand. I liked it so much I kept it the same immediately. I stand by this balance every single time. It is so, so delicious. You sort of get this kind of like sweet stone fruitiness. It's adjacent to sort of like grape flavor, but it's got this kind of earthy, not earthy, but like richer complexity to it. And that just kind of comes in as like the sweeping wave of like the botanicals specifically from the Genepi and then rosemary. Rosemary is strikingly close to pine, honestly. When you think about the way rosemary smells, it's really close to just straight up conifer trees. Like if you were to take like a spruce pine and do the same thing here, it would probably taste very, very similar. It's just to get this like this brightness from the lemon juice that provides like just the right amount of tartness and sort of balances out the sweetness from the syrup and the gin's acting as this kind of really like colorful base at the back that's not super like noticeable even it's it's taking a back seat but it, it kind of needs to and that's that's just how it works it, it's it comes together in such a brilliant way i love it i love every second of this drink <laughs> my cat has decided to join us my only gripe with it is that i wish it was purple like a plum like plum skin is i think that would look really cool Honestly though, I'm not that mad about it considering how, how good it tastes. And when you think about what would happen if you juiced a plum, this is what it looks like. This is a very natural color. It's honestly a very, a very nice shade of like this kind of like burnt orange. It looks really pretty, especially against like a frosted rimmed glass. It looks really nice. Do you want to sit? Yeah. Yeah. Want to be on camera? Let's put you on camera, sweetie. Hi, this is my cat, Precious. She hates me. She, when, she hates me picking her up, specifically. <laughs> but okay, I'll put you down, I'll put you down. You're okay. You're okay. Jeez. I think she was being, like, kidnapped. What the hell? <laughs> what do you think, though? It's good. I like it. Mm. The, okay. um, rosemary really comes through. Yeah, it's like, it's like the feature of it. Yeah. It's, it's nice, it's though. It's not, like, overpowering. Yeah. I think, I think, I, originally I was gonna use basil. I think this works better. Because it, it, it would stand out. It's, it's more sharp, you know? It's mm -hmm. less sort of uh, mint adjacent. Yeah, the only downside really is, the, is that the fact that sugared rims are a really easy way to make everything in your fucking house sticky. Because the second your finger touches this, you're donezo. And me, and me already, that's sticky, <laughs> already. Well, thank you all so much for tuning in. This is the first like serious cocktail that we've done. Uh, this drink so much. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode though and you want to make this, I'll uh, we'll put the recipe in the description. I haven't said that for any of these other episodes, but it's always been down there. Um, every spec that I'm using will be in the description. You can find it there pretty easily. <coughs> <coughs> Shit. I'm okay, it's fine. That happens because you I, sit the way you do. I know, I know. Every t okay, we had the, let's let's have this conversation real quick. <laughs> because I, I do this thing where as opposed to letting liquid fall into my mouth, I kind of suck gently to sort of like pull it in. Apparently that's not a normal thing. It's not. I, and I, also it's not really gentle. You kind of, you very much so like inhale most of the time when you drink literally anything <laughs> outside. I heard it, I heard it, don't worry. Oh. Sorry, yeah, continue. Literally any time you drink Anything hot, cold, or frozen. <laughs> you like, in, like, super duper inhale, and it's weird. Because <laughs> you inhale, and then like the water or whatever you're drinking immediately goes into your windpipe. Into my throat. <laughs> like into my lungs, yeah. instead of down my esophagus. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm not one. <laughs> and that's an over exaggeration, obviously. But. No, you're for me, right? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so what you're saying is I'm an overachiever. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of like letting whatever you're drinking get to your tongue, you're just trying to get it down your throat immediately. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, that is the sugar plum. If you guys uh, enjoyed this little roast the mixologist episode, uh, go ahead and click that like button and subscribe to catch more. We've got 22 more days after this one of cocktails and there's a different one every single time. So keep on checking us out. We will be here tomorrow, same time, same kind of god awful sweater. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. I see you, Lumen Precious. What are you doing down there? Get over here. <laughs> okay.